husbands can paint too. Ladies and gentlemen, cubs and ducks, <laughs> library patrons of all species, gather round to see this one-of-a-kind painting, oh. conceived and painted entirely by an elephant. What? No! No! Oh, my goodness. Oh! oh. oh. Magnificent. Um, Lionel, did you say that picture was painted by an elephant? Why, yes, young lady, I did. Young lady? Hmm. On display for one day only, right here at the library. Donations accepted for the elephants. <laughs> Why, no, that can't be true. Elephants can't paint. <laughs> She's got a point. I mean, I've heard of an elephant playing a banjo, but this... Oh, huh. but it's the truth, sir. <laughs> Why, this masterful piece of artwork was indeed painted by a gray, extremely large, extremely talented elephant. Oh, no, I am telling you, elephants cannot paint. Can't you? Cannot. Can't you? Cannot. You might want to try another angle. Mm. All right, Leona, if you don't believe me. Well, just look at this. Elephants can paint, too, with pictures and text by Katya Arnold. I teach in two schools. One is in the city. The other is in the jungle. Some of my students have hands. Others have trunks. The elephant's trunk is both a hand and a nose. Not only can a trunk pick things up, it can smell, drink, and spray. <laughs> Some students eat grass and leaves. Others eat peanut butter and jelly. But they all love cookies. And they all like to be with their friends. Time for art class. First, I give each student a brush. Some elephants learn to hold a brush right away. Others take a week or two. Look at how many ways there are to hold it. Some elephants hold the brush by wrapping their trunks around it. Others hold it inside their trunks. Now, let's paint. After the teacher guides the elephant's trunk to the paper and says, touch. Some elephants drag the brush over the paper. Others dab. If the teacher points and says, make a line up here, they do. When they want a new color, they give the brush to the teacher. Some paint for a few minutes. Others paint for as long as an hour. If they are tired or bored, they drop the brush and walk away. These students like to paint dots. Each elephant's painting is different. Some paint with wiggly lines. Some with spots. Some paint only in the middle of the paper. Others put paint everywhere. <laughs> they like to paint. These students like bright colors. Wow. These students can paint flowers. Most elephants don't paint real things. They paint colored strokes. But some elephants paint trees and flowers. It takes them about three years to learn. Whatever they paint, it helps to praise them and reward them with a treat. Everyone has their own style. Time to clean up. Be 
remember to wash between your toes. Elephants bathe every day. Like children, they love water. Using their trunk as a snorkel, they can swim up to 30 miles without resting. Art class is over. All of my students can paint and be proud. The end. Oh, oh, amazing, Lionel. Oh, you were right. Um, Elephants can paint. Yep, told you so. Well, <laughs> that's it, folks. Art show's over. Gotta go. Thanks for coming. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I guess sometimes you can learn something from your older brother. Come on, lovey. I feel like painting a picture of my own. How about you, huh? Let's see, maybe we could go over here and find the paint. Hello, everybody. Please welcome my guest, Theo Lion! Aloha! What's coming up on Between the Lions? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, watch for Knight's painting, Worm's painting, all kinds of art. Ooh, and a song about finding out more in books. <laughs> And now it's time for... Gwen's word! Gwen's word! Excellent! Gwen here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today we have Sir... <laughs> and Sir Ain't. Ain't. Blend on, dudes! Ain't. Eight. 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 Hold still, hold still. Well, it's better than you. Paint. Excellent. That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, don't you complain. Because <laughs> I'll see you next time on Gawain's word. Gawain's word. Ah! <laughs> How silly. There, hello! Reginald Livingston Seagull here with a colorful poem written by Barbara Josta Evanson called Yellow! <laughs> yellow sun and yellow sky. A dandelion's yellow eye. Yellow pollen dusts the breeze. And yellow lights the summer trees. A yellow buzzing prints the air. In dappled yellow dreams the pair. And from the finch's yellow throat, one golden, flowing yellow note. All about everything, one thing at a time. And now the information hen. Dog! Oh, welcome! What thing will we learn today? Dun, 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 dun. Stop! <gasps> about art. Art is something we make for others to experience and enjoy. For example, this sculpture is art. Looking good. Music is art. Hit it! Dancing huh, is also art. <laughs> oh, and a painting or drawing is art too. Look, here's one of my favorites. Love the smile. That's all for... All about everything, one thing at a time. Oh, you dance divinely. <laughs> well, I like all kinds of stories, and I like poetry, too. But when I need fact, not fiction, hey, I know just what to do. I run to my favorite bookshelf or encyclopedic stack. For a book that tells it to me straight from A to Z and back. If you want to see, if you want to know why an earthquake quakes, how a whale blows, or how to make a phone from a paper cup. Here's the deal if you want to get real. Look it up, look it up. Here's something about mosquitoes. Hey, look it, here's Peru. And here's a giant cactus. So much I never knew. 
you can find the rings of Saturn Or just how a zip a zip Plus charts and maps and graphs and less Yeah, any way you flip If you wanna see If you wanna see If you wanna know If you wanna know How a guitar rocks How a guitar rocks Where do mushrooms grow Where do mushrooms grow Or how to build a boat How to build a boat Or adopt a pup Or adopt a pup Here's the deal if you wanna get real Look it up, look it up. Here's a deal if you want to get a real. Look it up. It's short story time with Artie Smarty Bear. Uh, hello! And now I'm going to read this book to you, and ooh ah, I know you're going to like it. Ooh ah. Ooh, it's called ah. Worm Paint, ooh, written yeah. and illustrated by Kathy. Kathy Capel. Kathy! Worm paints a picture. I don't like it. Says Rat. Worm paints a picture. I don't like it. Says Turtle. Worm paints a picture. Uh, I don't like it. Says Frog. Worm paints a picture. We love, love it. it. They all say... The end! Say goodbye, Wormy. Goodbye, Wormy. Oh, you're so funny, Wormy. <laughs> yes. Okay, there. Mm. Hey, Leona. Huh? Well, hey, hey. Nice picture of Lovey. Oh, I didn't paint it. You didn't? Uh-uh. Who did? Well, Lovey painted it. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Lovey. <laughs> well, it's true. Lovey painted this picture, didn't you, Lovey? Yep, she says she did. <laughs> hey, hey, you know how I know that, that Lovey didn't paint this picture? How? <laughs> because stuffed animals can't paint. <laughs> well, well, if elephants can paint, who's to say stuffed uh, animals can't paint, huh? Uh, hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, 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 oh, yeah? Uh, oh yeah? Well, 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 well. If stuffed animals can paint, then uh, then monkeys can hula dance. <laughs> Stay tuned, cause coming right up are more lions, a really cool grandmother, and a girl with three names. Jamaica Louise James. So, Herman, watch this. I can pop up too. Surprise! <laughs> Were you scared? Huh? Yona! Oh. <laughs> we got a new book in the library that I think you're gonna like. Oh. <laughs> well, gee, Daddy, that's uh, that's great. Mm -hmm. But 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 I'm playing with my Herman in the box. Oh. Well, well, uh, I could read the book to you and Herman. No, oh, Daddy, Herman's very particular about what he likes to read. Oh, well, uh, uh, I'm sure Herman would like this book. L look, look, look here, Herman. It's called Jamaica Louise James, and the author is Amy Hest, and the illustrations are by Sheila White Sampton, and... And what? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. And the story has something in it, honey, that I know Herman is gonna like. <laughs> uh, you see that big word there on the top of this page? Yeah? That's the word surprise. <gasps> surprise? Herman loves surprises. Oh, read it, Daddy. Read it, read it, read it. Read it, read it. <laughs> okay, let's read it. Okay. Okay, here we go. I was the one with the cool idea. It happened last winter, and the mirror put my name on a golden plaque. It's down in the subway station at 86th and Main. You can see it if you go there. That's me. You better believe it. Want to hear my big idea? I'll tell you, but you've got to listen to the whole story, not just a part of it. Mama says my stories go on and on. Whenever I'm just at the beginning of one, she tells me, Get to the point, Jamaica. Or, Snap to it, baby. But I like lacing up the details, this way and that. This story begins with me. 
I have a big artist pad with 100 big pages and five colored pencils with perfect skinny points. Sometimes I set myself up on the top step of our building where everyone can see me. Everything I see is something I want to draw. At night, Mama and Grammy and I cuddle on the couch while the city quiets down. I show them every picture every night. Sometimes I tell a story as I go. Sometimes they ask a question like, why does the man's coat have triangle pockets? Other times we don't say a word. Now look at me on birthday number eight. Grammy and Mama dance around my bed. Open your present! They shout. We can't wait another minute! Know what they did? They bought me a real paint set with eight little tubes of color and two paint brushes. Paint sets cost a lot, I worry. My, my, my! They say. Are you going to spend birthday number eight worrying when you can be doing something wonderful such as painting the world? So that's when I get my big idea. Now this part of the story tells about my granny, who leaves for work when it is still dark. Sometimes I wake up halfway when she slides out of bed. In winter, she gets all layered, starting with the long underwear layer. She and Mama whisper in the kitchen. They drink that strong black coffee. Grammy scoops up her brown lunch bag and goes outside. I'm scared in the night, not Grammy. At 86th and Main, she goes down and down into the subway station. All day long, people line up at Grammy's token booth. They give her a dollar or four quarters, and she slides a token into their hand. Then they rush off to catch the train. What's a subway, Daddy? Oh, it's a, it's a train that runs underground in the city. Uh, uh, and what's a, what's a token? Uh, a token looks like money, and people use it to pay for their subway rides. Oh. And, and when are we going to get to the surprise? Uh, right away, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I like subways because the seats are hot pink and because they go very fast. But I don't like subway stations, especially the one at 86th and Main. There are too many steep steps, 56, and too many grown-ups who all look mad. The walls are old tile walls without any color. When Grammy comes home, she sews and talks about the people she sees, like Green Hat Lady or Gentleman with the Red Bow Tie. Mama reads and hums, but I paint, blending all those colors until they look just right. Every day, I add a picture to my collection, and every day, I think about my cool idea. At last, it's the morning of Grammy's birthday. Mama and I get up early. We get all layered and sneak outside. Mama holds my hand. I am scared, but also very excited. We swish along in our boots in the dark in the snow. At 86th and Main, we go down and down 56 steep steps. We don't buy a token at the token booth. We don't take a ride on the subway. What we do is hang a painting on the old tile wall. Then another, and another, and one more. Before you know it, that station is all filled up with color. Surprise! We shout when Grammy comes clumping down the steps. She looks all around that station. Jamaica Louise James. She calls. Come right here so I can give you a big hug, baby. So now you know the whole story. Everyone sure is in love with my subway station.
you'd be surprised. People are talking to each other, some even smile. That looks like me, says a lady in a green hat to a gentleman with a red bow tie. Then Grammy tells everyone about Jamaica Louise James, age eight. That's me, you better believe it. Oh, that was a great story, Daddy. Yeah. And it gives me a great idea. Oh, boy. It does. Mm -hmm. What kind of... What, honey? <laughs> Surprise! These are oh. all my drawings. <laughs> I put them all over the library, just like Jamaica Louise James. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, all over the library, indeed! <laughs> wow! Oh, don't you just love your little sister, Lionel? <laughs> hmm? I couldn't hear what you were saying. I have drawings on my ears. Ah! <laughs> Draw. A W. Aw. A W. Straw. Shawl. Saw. Oh. <laughs> Saw. 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 <laughs> oh, ah, saw, saw. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hello, Reginald Livingston Siegel here with a poem for you. Rush Dance, written by Robin Bernard. Hmm, let's watch. A dot, a blot, a smidge, a smear, and just a little squiggle here. A dab. A dash, a splish, a splat. That's how Patrick paints a cat. A W, aw, draw. Leona, Leona, there's a new cliffhanger book in the library. Cliffhanger? No way. I'm drawing. A uh, drawing? <laughs> but it's a cliffhanger book, and it's right. Over there! Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of... Cliffhanger! Today's adventure, number 7,616, Cliffhanger and the Awfully Big Seesaw. Cliffhanger, hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me. Excuse me! We find Cliffhanger where we left him last. Hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, Cliff notices an enormous seesaw on the lawn below his cliff. Gee, that's an awfully big seesaw. Quickly, Cliff reaches into his backpack and withdraws his trusty survival manual. Using his awe-inspiring decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. If you see an awfully big seesaw on the lawn below your cliff, jump on. Is a new life dawning for Cliffhanger? A life beyond his cliff? Awesome! Seesaw! Aw, oh, shucks. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger! Can't hold on much longer. Whoa, 
Leona, you missed one of the best cliffhangers ever. Well, I was busy trying something more important. <laughs> what could possibly be more important than a... Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah. Leona, mm -hmm. you drew a picture of cliffhanger. Yeah. Well, why? Because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, check it out! We're going surfing without a board, dudes! <laughs> okay, because we're surfing between the lions' website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go to pbskids.org!